Hi everyone, um, this video is going to show you how we can take your collage image, which can either be um, the unedited, unedited version or your drawn collage. I'm going to use this idea of Hilda Santos and create a whole new image based on a section of your collage. So you can either um, take um, your collage image or you can take your kaleidoscope image that you've created using the web generator so you can either use your collage looks like this make sure it's the jpeg version this way you've got no layers in your layers palette or you can of course use your drawn version that looks like this as long as you the jpeg version and um, you'll know that because there are no layers on your image so I've just gone to file and open and open my image. We're then going to use the um, rectangular marquee tool. I click on that and then you're going to select a part of the image that you want to use as part of um, your rotated square. So I'm going to hold down shift and select a section of this image that I'm going to rotate. And then I'm going to go to edit and copy and it's going to end up looking something like this. So to, to get to this, we need to go to File and New. I'm going to select an A4 piece of paper under International Paper. Once we've got our A4 paper, we can go to Crop and make sure your selection is set to Crop at the top. And we're going to go to Square. So we've used a Crop tool here, we've set it to Square and we can just click the tick. From here, we're going to make sure our rulers are shown so make sure the tick is on rulers here I'm going to drag them down so we've got four equal segments to our square then back on your collage I've selected this section I'm going to go to edit and copy and then I'm going to go to edit and paste and I'll need to resize this to make sure it only fits inside that one square you will want to make sure the show, the show transform controls button is clicked and that allows you to resize that image and it should snap to the rulers that you put into place. Once you've got that one image, you're going to right click and duplicate that layer three times. So you should have four in total. And then from here, we can then select and move each layer into its own square. Now what we need to do is to rotate each of the squares to make sure that they are reflected and rotated appropriately. So on the first top left one, I'm going to rotate this layer. So edit and transform, and I'm going to flip horizontal. So we've now got a mirror image on that top row. And I should just be able to click on the bottom left one as long as your auto select layer is selected. When you hover on the corner and you see the arrows changes, you should be able to just rotate that. And click tick. And then on the last layer, I should be able to rotate that as well. At the minute, you can see here, this bit isn't rotated correctly. So I'm going to go to edit transform, flip horizontal, and then rotate that to make sure that all four layers are rotated appropriately. And that's your uh, collage complete. So now we just need to go to file and save as, and save that as a new JPEG. Or of course you could select part of your kaleidoscope image and just follow the same process select a square like I've done here using the marquee tool, copy and paste it onto a new image and then create a whole new collage based on uh, your kaleidoscope image. Or you could go back and create a whole new image based on your drawn uh, image. Exactly the same process. Use the marquee tool, hold down shift, control and C to copy and then select and put them into your, your own square. Thank you.